But I, but I, I don't think this case is about Trump anymore at all. Because you heard the governor of New York come out yesterday and say, look, everybody, uh, don't be scared about doing a business in New York, uh, because the only people we prosecute are people like Donald Trump who don't behave well. That didn't go over very well with the investment community, because we're all asking each other, who's next? This was a victimless crime. Nobody lost any money. And a judge out of nowhere put on a $355 million penalty. I mean, who's next? So if you well, think Kevin, about before the I, I don't want to cut you off, but I hear about the, the so-called victimless crimes, but the laws on the books, falsification of business records in second degree, issuing false financial statements, insurance fraud, conspiracy, and all these different aspects of it, those are actual crimes. I take it your point is that these should not have been prosecuted? Well, my point is there's never been a case like this in 75 years. Everything you just listed off is done by every real estate developer everywhere on earth in every city. This has never, ever been prosecuted.